Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the accounting for cash dividends specifically for common stock. Now, just as a brief kind of reminder, refresher, um, common stock versus preferred stock and how dividends are related. Preferred stockholders always get paid out before common stockholders, regardless of whether that preferred stock is cumulative or non-cumulative. Um, preferred stockholders simply have a priority to the dividend claims of the company. However, any dividends in excess of what's owed to the preferred stockholders will then get distributed to the common stockholders. So with that in mind, let's see an example of a common stockholder cash dividend. On March 23rd, Flyercore declares a cash dividend of 10 cents per share on outstanding common stock of 200,000 shares. The date of record is March 31st and the distribution date is April 30th. Record the journal entries for Flyercore's cash dividend. So in this case, we start off with March 23rd. On that day, the company declares a cash dividend. Once the company has declared a dividend, the company is obligated to pay it out and must record a liability to represent the future cash payment. So dividends come out of retained earnings, so we will debit retained earnings. It says the dividend was 10 cents per share on outstanding common stock of 200,000 shares. So 10 cents times 200,000 shares works out to $20,000 total. Therefore, that is the amount that comes out of our retained earnings. We create a dividend payable for that $20,000. It tells us that the next date we encounter is the date of record, March 31st. The date of record is not an accounting date. An investor must hold, in this case, the common stock on that day in order to receive the dividend that's coming shortly thereafter. So nothing happens on this day from an economic activity perspective. Then the distribution date is April 30th. That's the day we pay off our obligation. April 30th, when we pay off a liability, you debit the liability, so dividend payable. 20,000. We are paying it out in cash, so credit cash, 20,000. This problem did not mention any preferred shareholders or any, any owed dividends to preferred shareholders, and therefore we can assume that that entire 20,000 is going to our common shareholders. All right, here's another one for you, slightly different. Flyercore declares a cash dividend of $50,000. If Flyercore owes its preferred stockholders 20,000 and has 100,000 shares of common stock outstanding, how much of the dividend will each share of common stock receive? Sometimes this is more informative for investors than say just what is the total dividend declared. Sometimes investors wanna know how much dividend is each share of common stock actually earning? So in this case, we're not journalizing or anything. This is just purely gonna be a math calculation. Um, we know that the total dividend is $50,000. So that is total div. It tells us that the preferred stockholders are owed $20,000. Remember, they have priority over the dividends. Therefore, the common shareholders will not see that. So minus 20,000 preferred div. That leaves $30,000 for common stock div. And we know that there are 100,000 shares of common stock in the market. Common stock shares. Therefore, it looks like in this case, each share of common stock is going to earn 30 cents. So 30 cents per share of common stock. And of course, at this point, if you are a stockholder of this company, you could then say, how many shares do I have? Multiply that times 30 cents, and that will tell you what the dividend is that you are entitled to as a stockholder. All right, so that's it for accounting for cash dividends, specifically for common stock. Sometimes you might have to deal with taking out the preferred stock beforehand. Sometimes you may just be dealing with the common stock itself, but you got a taste of both the journal entries and the calculations either way. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you join me for another video.